Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. This tractor is a piece of cake to drive. I drive it on uh, tractor rides, and uh, it, it drives. Uh, some friends of mine that drive over tractors say, gosh, it drives like a car. And then I also like the sound of it when I open the throttle and get the chortle of that little red Tiger engine. I love that sound. I've loved it since I was a young person. For classic tractor fan Mike Hood, West Des Moines, Iowa is home. But when he really wants to stretch his tractor driving legs, he heads just a few hours north, where he can ride among the wildflowers and native prairie grasses in the Spirit Lake area. This is this is uh, really joyous to come out here and drive around on this on this uh, restored prairie grasses, you know, with these rows. It's it's like uh, at home in Missouri driving on uh, the pastures, but uh, gosh, it's peaceful back here. One thing's for sure, Mike has no trouble getting excited about farm tractors of any kind, but he's especially fond of his own little 1953 Ford. This is Goldie, my tractor Goldie. I've had it about four years, but I've had a, a relationship with these tractors perhaps for almost 50 years. Uh, this is, it's Goldie because it's a 1953 Golden Jubilee Ford uh, it celebrated the 50th anniversary of the Ford Motor Company in 1953. When I was a kid, uh, the first tractor I ever plowed with was this little Ford. And I, was, of course, was a small child, but even at nine years old, I could handle these Fords. Then, uh, as, as I was in high school and graduated, I started farming with, a, with one exactly like this. And I have plowed, I, I, I will say sometimes, <laughs> I can drive one of them in my sleep, and I think I have. <laughs> Though the 1953 Golden Jubilee had much in common with the very popular 8N Ford that it replaced, this tractor with its more powerful Red Tiger engine had many unique features of its own. This tractor has just a hair over 30 horsepower, which is a significant difference. The other really important thing about the engine is it's much longer lived than the old the flathead Ford. Up here is the Sherman trans Auxiliary Transmission. Uh, that gives us 12 forward speeds, three speeds in reverse. Uh, we didn't have one when I was a kid, and I understand why. My dad never put one on a tractor, and I think it's because this tractor easily does well up into the 20 miles an hour, and I'm, I'm sure he knew that we'd drive it that fast all the time and perhaps kill ourselves, so we didn't have that on our tractors at home. We're back here at the three-point hitch. This is invented by Harry Ferguson. From the old Ford Ferguson's came out in 1939 and it's become the universal standard the three-point hitch this point this point and this is the third point where the arm comes out and it was a wonderful kind of versatile little tractor to do race crops mow and do chores with and they were just wonderful for that the Golden Jubilee was the first Ford to offer live hydraulics in restoring this red-bellied beauty Mike aimed to make it as close to original as possible Right here on the front, it says Golden Jubilee model. And it says 1903 to 1953, which uh, under here. This, of course, is a replacement. Uh, the one that it had in it <laughs> was busted. Well, of course it was busted. These tractors did a lot of uh, utility work, and they pushed wagons, gates, anything, you could, perhaps trees even, out of the way. And so it's not unusual for these to get broken or for this to be bent. The back wheels on this tractor are, are look just as if they were original. They are, uh, I had replacement rims on it. When I was going to put it on the calendar, I decided I needed to, to have it really be correct. And so I found some hat rims. I had one and I bought another and we restored them. Now, as much as he likes driving his historic Ford, Mike also finds fun in capturing classic tractors one still frame at a time. As a lead photographer for the classic farm tractor calendar. But gosh, I like them all, you know. God, I can't, I, there was joy in, in most all those tractors. Even on a super hot day, it's fun to take a good picture, you know. It's to get a nice clean background and uh, have the, uh, ideally to have the tractor in a setting that is pleasing to people that are gonna see the calendar and maybe it expresses the personality of the farmer or characteristics of the area where the tractor's at. This one we hauled all the way to the University of Missouri campus and photographed it in front of the columns there. I graduated from the University of Missouri with a degree in agricultural journalism, and as did John Harvey. 
and we did that kind of as a tribute to our alma mater. A fitting tribute indeed. Mike has now photographed dozens of classic tractors, and even though he's not a farm kid on an old Ford anymore, his connection to those days gone by is still running strong. You have a tractor that's 50 years old and you had it when you were a kid, <laughs> you have a little piece of history, but you also know you're getting older too. <laughs> I gotta say that. I've hauled this tractor perhaps uh, 2,000 miles to shows and to rides, and uh, gosh, they're, they're just a nice, tractor for, for a, an old tractor lover like me.